Today I want to talk to you about the serious subject of piles, or indeed points, or arrowheads, whatever it is you want to call them. We all have to use them and eventually lose them. Whether that's because you go to get your arrow out of the target and the pile stays in the target because the glue has failed, or the target is a particularly tough target, often rubbery targets do seem to cling onto the piles quite, quite well, and indeed some tightly banged straw bosses seem to keep hold of your piles when you don't want them to. Uh, also you could say break one, shoot one into a tree or hit a target leg or just some stones that happen to be in the ground when you've missed the target or indeed break on the target itself uh, like this one. As you can see this one has uh, suffered that rather unfortunate fate of hitting something hard and is uh, bent over as you can see. Uh, now you may be the sort of person who's responding to this video saying, well I never have piles come off, they never come off. Uh, well if you went to the NFAS 3D Champs up in the Lake District, uh, you'll know that uh, breakages like this and piles coming off uh, can happen quite frequently. Ask anyone who went to that competition, and in fact this is one of our arrows from that very competition. Now what do you do when you've pretty much got to the point where almost all your arrows that you've taken with you are broken? Well you sort of can't carry on. You might have some spare ones back in the car but if you're on a target that's 20 targets away from where your car is or being able to get the arrows in your middle of a competition there's not a lot you can do. But you can replace these uh, if you're careful and have you have the necessary equipment with you. You don't have to carry a lot with you, uh, just a taper tool and say half a dozen spare piles. At least that potentially can get you going again. If, like this one, it's only broken off at the pile, at the, uh, the start of the pile there. If I continue to break that off, it should, should just snap off fairly cleanly as it has. That's quite lucky. Now that means I can resharpen this with the uh, taper tool and uh, fit a new pile. But, let me drop that one down there. Um, if you're unlucky and it doesn't break off cleanly then obviously that might not be very easy to do. But if it does as it has in this case then great. Uh, also, if you're using arrows that are of a particular length, if you're using arrows that are an exact length for your draw length, then you're not going to be able to do this. If you're using arrows where you've left, say, an inch or two inches of safety, uh, you know, extra length on the shaft that you don't actually require for your uh, draw length, then you can do this method. So, simply find the correct blade on here, which I believe is this one, which is the one for the piles, and you can... There we go. So that's given us our taper on there. So once we cut that taper there, we are ready to fit on the pile. Now the type of pile that we've got here is a field pile, um, which is obviously for field shooting. Um, but it has a, it's a tapered socket, but it also has a thread in it, a thread cut in. You probably can't really see it on that camera, but trust me, there's a thread in there, much like you would find on the, uh, say, the outside of a screw, a threaded screw or bolt. So you should be able to just screw this on. So I'm turning it in the normal way you screw, so I'm doing that clockwise. And you can feel that bite, be bite on quite nicely. <coughs> there we are. So that's tightly on, and I genuinely pulling with all my might. I can't pull that off. That really doesn't want to come off. Um, uh, ow. Oh, cool. Anyway, uh, no, uh, so it won't come off. <laughs> Which means if you're out in the field or you're actually doing field shooting, you're at a shoot, then as a temporary fix, you can do that and get these on there and get, as I say, if you carry, you don't have to carry a dozen piles around with you, you just carry half a dozen with you or just a couple, uh, at least will keep you going. Uh, and you may even be able to help someone else out. Uh, but again, uh, I stress this does apply to having a, a arrow which, um, after suffering that sort of uh, injury, is going to still be long enough for you to be able to use. And of course you can use these piles, they aren't just for emergency, you can use these anyway because they will give extra grip so if you're making a set of arrows up and you buy some of these obviously you can glue them on as you normally would but also ugh, see I can't even unscrew it I mean they're on there they're on there good and proper huh? I'm sure with the, a, a vice or something you might be able to get that off again um, but yeah 
they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, they, they're really good. They really come in handy and they can really save you, as I say, when you're out in the field or it's just generally improve the adhesion of the pile to the arrow shaft when you're making them up in the normal way. Um, they still will, uh, much like the brass piles and things that we sell, so these are steel, um, they will require cleaning out on the inside because there'll be machine oil in there, so that's worth doing and bearing in mind so uh, yeah if you're interested in these we do obviously sell them uh, they're part of our catalog our catalog is below and I'll put a specific link to this item as well if you're interested in them uh, yeah is there any other little things out there that you're interested in little problems that you've got when you're out shooting that you wonder well is there something that can be done about this on the fly and let us know in the description box below if there's something you want to see you want us to show you or talk about or whatever it is archery or even non-archery related you want to know the answer to life the universe and everything just ask me in the description box below to pile obviously for field shooting uh, but they're actually uh, tapered and also have a um... <laughs> it's a thing there's a thing in there that does magic <laughs> uh, what, what is it <laughs> um, there's magic fairies in there that grip hold of it with their talons um <laughs> a thread <laughs> that's right there's a thread in it let's let's go again everybody <laughs> and give us a subscribe if you would like to see more of this sort of stuff and uh, there's probably some other videos up there sort of almost in the way of my head anyway i'll see you again folks and thanks for watching <laughs>